Vikram Sagar at IndoIndians.com and we have with us Shanti Shashadri today. We are starting a new program called Artist Showcase and our spotlight artist today is Shanti Shashadri. She is very multi-talented and she does practices many kinds of art forms. And Shanti has been here and she's been sharing all the different art forms, crafts, etc. that she's been doing over the years. And she has also been sharing it on Indo-Indians and teaching it to many people here in Indonesia. So Shanti, welcome. Nice, Poonam. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. Like, you know, a long time you have been asking also for this. And I also like to talk about my art which I mean, it's very interesting to me. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, this thing. So it's nice. We can, we can ask something about that so that. I'll so be... Shanti, uh, when did you start painting and what inspired you? See, actually, I think the art in me, it was there, like, you know, in the beginning when I was a child. Mm -hmm. But when I was in fifth grade, I was just in a magazine one, one just a one, um, well, I mean, when couple was there, like, you know, in a scenery kind of. So I was just drawing, I was copying it in a slate. You know, the right. slate, what we get that, the uh -huh. chalk. So in the chalk piece, and my aunt was also there, and they said, how come you can draw so well? And it, that was so inspiring. In those days, they won't get us the colorful color pencils or paint or anything. So whatever available material, like maximum we get is the black black point pen you know what we were getting and we used to borrow some in my neighborhood in my velour my native place he used to paint a lot so we used to get little bit painting from him and then me and my sister my brother everybody will do but i have taken later like as my profession kind of i mean my full passion and everything in jakarta gave me that platform so that time i started and slowly even i was in middle school and high school started doing greeting cards only with radha krishna seeing something see i cannot just imagine something and do but if i have anything picture i was doing and uh, all these things that helped me in doing my biology diagram also so well. And all my classmates will say, can you please do for us that fish? Can you please do the diagram? So I used to get good marks in my biology diagram, which I was doing in my college also as an ancillary as zoology. And even though my major was chemistry. So I was a very good student, but uh, in between that uh, art was there, which we were during the holidays, we were doing that. Right. So, you know, I have been to your house, I've seen your golu, I've seen the garlands you make at the temple, and I've seen all the beautiful paintings around the house. So, uh, tell us about your creative process from the beginning of a typical piece to its completion, because you yeah. have such different art forms. Yeah, see, nowadays only you have Google and Pinterest or so many things. Before, we used to just see some pictures somewhere and there is no, not immediately you can take a photo or anything. Right. So some pictures, when I was in the college, they had an inter-college uh, competition, like uh, when I was, so I was first, first my part, competition was that. So when they asked, I got a piece of paper with only with black pen, one uh, in a boat and a lot of people, one, one queen kind of, and then there are a lot of uh, people were in the boat. So that is the scene, I got it. So I said, can I borrow this, that paper and the magazine? I said, okay, you can have it. So that was my, they said, you can use anything to do the competition that day. So I used that and I got first prize in the inter-college, like there are eight colleges were participating. And my parents were not though so happy, said, I thought you will get prize in your academics, like chemistry and how come you got in that art? Then I used to cry like, what, like, you know, those days, like, why don't you, why are you wasting time in drawing and painting most of the time? Why don't you apply for something or, you know, they used to say, but I like studies also, not that I was only interested in drawing. I was studying and I joined my uh, master's also and doing my uh, college. Right. So after that, I got married. And initially, uh, when I got married, I was not uh, doing anything. Hmm. Then again, it started. I see. So when you, uh, when, you, when you finish it, when your art is finished, do you move on to a new art form or do you do yeah, a number yeah. of pieces? Again, I, I missed that question last time. When you do, when I want to do now also, 
when i choose a picture when i start doing it i don't get any distraction even when somebody calls or something interesting or some movie or anything also my mind okay when i am going to finish when <laughs> when is the finish tomorrow can i finish like a full mind i put at least 5 to 6 hours in that painting and complete in 4 to 5 days or uh, two not that i do in a hurry or anything i take my time but i fully commit myself to that art full then till i complete my mind will be like you know always tomorrow will i will finish or day after how it will come the face uh, and i will go in the night also 10 o'clock to see my incomplete <laughs> incomplete picture and whether it is uh, come i mean it is nice at the distance or so i keep on uh, watching that you know looking at it in the morning time or in the night time when i was not able to so that's how i finish but i see that i finish that and then only start something else not like uh, when i am just doing that and doing one more thing and i just kept it aside for some time then later i will take it to complete no nothing like that once i start i have to finish it right that yes. is my, i myself you know i am the this thing for the motivation for that to finish you know you are an indian artist living in indonesia mm. what are the challenges or opportunities that you have yeah here actually the challenges are uh, more because as you say here the Na navratri again the gulu that is like our uh, south indian we all have it that is the tradition goes only with the dolls just we are keeping it whereas the side the kind of park or whatever your interest it is up to you and uh, your creativity and uh, in ja in jakarta i had that opportunity because i had helpers number one number two i had a big house also the living room was quite a big so i wanted to make use of it and that i was exploring why not this year why not we show this for the children see ma usually we used to do ramayana or something or the tirupati all those uh, cultural uh, temples in india but when my son was very young he said why you are always doing the you know i i'll call my friends they may not be interested in what you're doing i want them so that's how i started doing this all this santorini greece and south africa and all this that is also very challenging and you know people will ask am i doing for the people to come and appreciate no no nothing like that it is my own satisfaction once i done that no that day that moment I have the full satisfaction also that whole every day I'll be watching that as though you know, newly I'm I'm seeing that the water going in the uh, living area how to do about it all those things with the help of the materials also we were getting here and we were spending money also there are three things spending and my husband full support who will spend for a navaratri golu money to call somebody to see with what's the purpose there is no purpose it's only a passion and the interest and my creativity also this again in the temple also jakarta has given me the opportunity even in india they won't even allow us to go near the uh, you know murti and bhagwan balaji whoever it is so even the um, um, garlands we just used to buy it and give it to them and we don't know when they will just offer it here the whole we are doing starting from the process of getting the flowers and cleaning it and then doing making the garlands and offer it and sometimes it happens like matching you know the dhoti the costume also that day and all you feel so happy how is it possible how it comes so matching and you know sometimes uh, my husband takes the, the you know cloth what we are going to wear it but i will be i'll be knowing what we are doing the garlands but it will be matching most of the time wow. that that day you feel so happy and um, i hope god also is happy about it and yes. this has been carrying for so many years with the help of uh, mates and drivers one day my driver can't go to the pasar or something to get the flowers i don't think is it possible to carry on the same thing for so many years of course i do garlands but it takes 4 to 5 hours to do what i am doing so if right. weekly twice when we are doing sometimes we are going out and we have some other work also so we cannot sit for so long so for that i train my maid also to help them when they are not there i do that and during the main functions there are two three ladies also they come and help and not too many people i want a lot of people to involve in that but everybody say i have to learn and they are still in the learning process 
So with your experience, uh, is there any advice you would like to give other artists or who are learning, uh, you know, to do art here in Indonesia? Yeah, see the same thing. First of all, whatever you do, a small thing, a small painting or even black and white, a picture, a pencil shading. First of all, they should have patience and first to have focus on it, what they are doing. Whatever they should, they should be best on, on it. That is my this thing. Even it can be a small thing, but I want to be the best in what you are doing. That is how it should be. So if you have the whole, the commitment and uh, the interest and the passion, then they can really do it well. Not like the sake of just doing one and taking the photo and then giving. That is like, you know, that won't be, I won't say that full passion in them. If they have, they have to develop it and then they can, and you should keep on, keep on doing at least two hours a day or one hour a day. If your passion is, intro, I mean, art, I feel that you should not just leave and continuously for one month and then not doing for two, three months. And then again, you're starting it that the interest won't be there. Right. If you're doing continuously, then again, people will say you have a room, you have a, you know, all these things. No, even if you have a small uh, table or something, you can keep it ready and you can have it. And mind only how we do different uh, varieties of cooking and everything, the same thing. Right. And not necessary that like me, they should do all varieties of uh, paintings. Only one that so that they can master it. Right. That's, a, that's a, what I wanted to tell. So it is all about patience, focus, focus. passion, and yes. persistence. I know. Persistence <laughs> is very important in this. Yeah. yeah, that's that thing. So Shanti, I noticed that you create artworks in many different styles. Which yes. one is your favorite? See, that's what that also a little bit changes in years. First, I was fascinated towards Tanjur painting. So I was literally mastering in Tanjur painting. And uh, one, two, three years, I, I think from 92, I, I landed in Jakarta. I learned Tanjur painting in that time. And after that, till 2002 or 2005 also, I was only doing, even my exhibitions we had twice, that or twice or thrice, that was only with my Tanjur. Tanjur and uh, at that time also, I found there was not even a single Tanjur artist in Jakarta. So, okay, I thought, okay, this is, but I didn't do only God and Goddess of Hindu God and Goddess. I started doing like, you know, African ladies and uh, oh. so many things. Uh, so many I have, the Borobudur and that uh, different style, the Thai dancers and so many in the Tanjur style. For the exhibition, it was, um, it was good. It was nice challenge. But after some time, I found that not enough of challenges in Tanjur painting. Because you can even hire somebody mm -hmm. to do the, like the cement, we call it as embossing. You know, to do the embossing work and to do the golden work, you can train or even the mates, I mean, not mate, but so many assistants can do that. And the final is mine, the face painting. That also, it's not a challenge to do like shading or anything. Then I said, no, no, I think I should do uh, different. So slowly in between, I was doing oil painting and some acrylic, but I really, really fell in love with oil painting. And before it was Tanjur, now it is my oil painting. Right. I can do creative things in my oil painting and uh, give a better 3D effect also. So it's oil paintings at the moment. Oil painting now at the moment. But I like, uh, of course, I love to do Kerala murals and my um, Kalamkari work and cushion covers and so many dot paintings, my coasters, which will be useful for the, not all the time hanging and, you know, picture doing. So you have to do something creative you can do, which you can give to people. So right. that's how I used to like the other type of paintings also to, when I travel to US, I give a lot of coasters, give table, uh, uh, you know, runners and those things in a different art form. So that will be useful for them also. So, so much time spent on a gift. Yes, so it's yes. a beautiful gift. Yes, indeed. Who is your favorite artist? See, Mr. Ilai Raja is a very good, famous artist in Tamil Nadu. He's very famous in India also. He's for oil painting. He's like, his works are amazing. You can just, nobody will believe that it is a painting. It will be so, like a photographic clip. It will be like, exactly. So that's how, and I got an opportunity this lockdown time to learn from them. Mm -hmm. So that is the main, I really thankful for this time 
for this pandemic situation i got the opportunity because you'll be they are all very busy right uh, but since this time they were also free and we were getting to have a one full course with them so that i can do better i mean i can improve on my wow what a wonderful opportunity for you shakti yeah and also now in in color pencil which i have not tried i'm going to do with the shashi tautre is also famous maharashtrian famous for color pencils art that also join the classes are going to start soon i see and the situation helped me to learn more of um, folk art which is i already know lot of folk arts like like kalamkari kerala murals and tanjore is also one of our uh, tradition from tamil nadu but i learned the pot painting gone paintings and this uh, patachitra and shikavati art from jaipur so they had an opportunity of different courses they have given during this time from right. the different artists so that i made use of it and continuously three months i was learning <laughs> that's amazing shakti I, i won't leave after learning it i have to do it so that i was uh, doing it also maybe we could see some of your artworks could you show us some yeah. of your artworks i know yeah. you're currently sitting in your studio and you know i can, you I can really show i i'll just uh, wait i'll just go to my living room and then we we'll talk about your artwork yes so we were earlier in shanti's studio where she has organized all her uh, materials based on charcoal painting uh, oil color painting and the different paintings on different tables i think she is really passionate about all the different things that she does what what minute sheshari somebody hold my laptop so that i can explain no oh, yeah yeah okay see this is uh, one of the art form i which is a very rare thing i learned in jakarta this i saw once in pasaraya one lady was doing this is only with pieces of cloth so this is not paint no this is not paint this is only with pieces of cloth and there is no paint or brush used in this painting only so the pieces of cloth are stuck there or how pieces of cloth are stuck to the stuck everything according to the sheet and also it is not a fresh cloth get get from the tailor the waste cloths waste Perhaps. according to the uh, skin tone you are just even the teeth is also the thread i used even the eye is also a black thread used in that wow it looks beautiful and that's your daughter suprajit yeah this is uh, my daughter this i've done quite a bit a lot of pieces as a you know gift to a lot of people and right. uh, balinese art will be very good like balinese dancers or uh, you know they're doing uh, batik work those ladies yeah. they come in the art very good wow that's really beautiful that's my art i learned in indonesia actually it's what they name it as uh, it's a specific name i am not getting the name but i just call it as a textile art only did you learn it from someone or did you just figure it out i went twice to pasaraya one lady was there and then i was watching her and then she just did a workshop so that i learned from her you know I not regular class just she was coming and explaining to us how to do it's really okay. beautiful very very nice Yeah, this is my kalamkari. Right. This made on a cloth and uh, using a pencil. Kalam means pen actually. This is the art from uh, Telugu. I mean Andhra, Andhra Pradesh. So I was just using this with a pen, a pen only, and with some maroon color ink, which is used in this cloth. And this we can use it on uh, sari. and a lot of motifs in your salwar or whatever it cushion covers anything we can do it right. just not not necessary it should be like in the you know photo frame or anything right. so this we can so do this it. very detailed it's a really yeah, it's detailed very, and very the kalamkari is a very beautiful art again they used to have only the natural colors for this hmm. but now because we are not able to get all those things so we are using the present acrylic colors and everything for this everything has changed now before only the natural what they used to get from the vegetable dye all those things were used but yeah. now we are substituting those things with acrylic paint okay. and all that okay 
It's a very nice. Did you learn this or did you just pick it up from your... this, Again, see, my learning is like when I go to India, I just go and have, uh, you know, one or two classes with somebody who, I mean, who knows so that I come back and I do a different pieces so that I come, I mean, master in that. I see. I, uh, I think I've done quite a bit workshops for a Kalamkari and also a lot of, uh, you know, ladies learn from me for Kalamkari art. Okay. And this is, of course, the Kerala mural. Can you see from here? Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. This is typical from Kerala. This is a Kerala mural and they usually use the orange and green color only. Very, very, very colorful. Some different colors will come like this blue can come in between. But mostly they use the orange color because these are all natural colors. They will get the, from the orange and they will uh, use only those three particular colors, the green and orange. And so we, uh, you know, same colors we used in acrylic. Right. And this is also done in a canvas board, not a cloth. This is done in a cloth, specially for kalamkari. But this is a canvas. I it's see. done in canvas. Yeah. This is my recent what I've done the oil painting. Okay. Daughter again. <laughs> I think your daughter is your inspiration. Yeah, yeah. A model. <laughs> you know, whatever I do, a different face also. It end up in coming like her. So better I was just trying her face only. You know. So very, very nice, very, very nice. And this is also, and this is also on, again one more my oil painting. So this is what um, you learned from the artist. No, 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 not not this one. But that I actually I have a photo. I will just send you after I learn from you. Sure. And this is my all-time favorite Tanjur painting, Lakshmi. You know, you said which is my favorite painting. If you ask me. Yeah. This is my favorite and also very scenty and it is like uh, my husband also likes this painting very much. Every day morning he comes and prays to this Lord Mahalakshmi, Goddess. So this is very beautiful Shanti. You've done a wonderful job with this one. Uh, this, uh, this is also again, uh, Tanjur is done in a, especially we have to make the board for the using a cloth and then you have to you have the limestone powder and everything and then you have to create the embossing and then gold foil a lot of work laborious art but the final result is good it's very beautiful and this i would have done around at least 75 to 80 pieces in my whole life. Oh, wow <laughs> so many in that initial stages so i given lot and had exhibition also and uh, give for people and there are a lot of uh, different forms as you say uh, my glass painting and uh, some are my zentangle i can share those things in my, my photos yes. and i also i uh, done a video a small video about my art what all i do i started later years pottery and i've done for uh, two years so many pieces of uh, uh, you know what all we want the plates and so many jars and whatever the wow. startup plates and so many things I've done in the my clay. So, so what is one another art form? I know you mentioned that you're going to learn pencils, color pencils. Yeah, color pencils, yeah. Yeah. That is the color pencils. And that you know what you can get, do the exactly the color pencils will be like you can't imagine how it could be better than 3D effect than oil paint. Right. Yeah. Thank so, you, Shanti. Thank you so much for sharing your journey and your art journey and some pieces of your and, art. And uh, my main strength is also Rangoli, which I really yes. love it. And of then course. do it. And yeah. that I do during Navratri also. And I mean, uh, in college, when, when in school, when my son was in Jess. So every year we do for Diwali, I do different Rangolis and then doing that. Wonderful. Thanks. Thanks, Poonam. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was really interesting. Okay. Good. So, uh, Shanti, hmm. 